Week three of the fantasy football season, and here's a few defense DST units. I looked ahead this week, the first one that that was Cowboys. So the Cowboys defense so far the first two weeks of the season. In terms of fantasy football, they're not scoring a lot of fantasy points, but they're holding teams down, and they're just not really getting turnovers. Week one versus Tampa, 19 points allowed. Two sacks and then though in week two, they had heat on Joe Burrow the whole ball game. 17 points allowed, six sacks in that one. So right now, if this defense just could get a few turnovers or possibly even find the end zone, they definitely could be a defense to reckon with. And they got a good matchup here week three at the New York Giants, which I think it's going to be a divisional NFC East matchup where both defenses are going to play pretty decent. Dallas Cowboys already have one of the better pass rushers in the league. In Micah Parsons, who's everywhere and flies to the ball and gets the quarterback quickly. So right now, this Cowboy team looking decent in terms of points, only allowed, but they're not getting the turnovers. But if they could get a few turnovers here, they could really be a good defense cooking in fantasy football. But right now, they're definitely a defense I would look to get this week here. Available in 58% of leagues. The next defense is the Seattle Seahawks. So the Seahawks. Obviously, it's not the Legion of Boom years anymore here, but I still think this defense could be decent from depending the matchup. So the first two games, not bad for the Seattle defense. Week one versus Denver, 16 points allowed, two sacks, two fumble recoveries in that one. And week two at the San Francisco 49ers, I know 27 points allowed, a sack though, and a touchdown on a block kick in that ball game was the only score for the Seattle Seahawks, a block kick to the house, a week three, a pretty good matchup in the 12th man over there in Seattle versus the Atlanta Falcons. Marcus Mariota is leading a young Atlanta Falcon team into a tough environment. Obviously, he looked decent though in week two's ball game versus the Rams where the Falcons fell short. So Mariota, I think he's good for a couple turnovers in this one. And I think Seattle could hold them down to a decent point margin in this one and right now they are available 98% of fantasy week so as a one week ad I think Seattle's a decent ad this week the next defense the Philadelphia Eagles so the Eagles defense they look good in week two versus the Minnesota Vikings especially Demarius Slay shutting down a lot of the passing game for Kirk Cousins and the Vikings including picking them off twice so Eagles in week one at Detroit not a great game 35 points allowed a sack and a pick six in that one. And week two versus Minnesota, it's seven points allowed only. Two sacks and three intos, which two of them being from Slice. So week three here at the Washington Commanders, you know this team, they're gonna wanna get to former quarterback Carson Wentz, get to him early and often. And you know Wentz, he's good for one and two turnovers per game, even though we know he's a gunslinger and he could put up fantasy points in a hurry and keep his team in the game in a hurry. But I think Philly can make a few plays on Carson Wentz in this one. And they got a good pass rush. And we saw Kirk Cousins under the rest a lot in that ball game. So Philly, they've been dropped an 8% of fantasy week from last week to this week. But now they're back on the radar if they're shutting down for the most part. One of the better offenses in the league here and have a pretty good matchup versus former quarterback Carson Wentz. So right here, I would give the Eagles an end this week off the boy. The next defense, the Houston Texans. So the Texans, we know they're going to be one of the worst teams in the league. And we know they're rebuilding, but so far... The first couple weeks of the season here, they compete and week one they tied with division rival the Indianapolis Colts 20 to 20. Seven fantasy points in that one, 20 points allowed, two sacks in it though, and a fumble recovery. And then week two at the Denver Broncos, 16 points allowed, three sacks, and an interception. So week three here, good matchup with the Chicago Bears that I don't know what they're doing on offense, even though the running backs look good in week two's ball game versus the Packers. Well, Montgomery going for 118 yards, and Herbert filling in on it. Montgomery needed a rest look good as well, but Justin Fields, he looks lost out there. Darnell Mooney's done nothing so far. Cole Komet's done nothing. And it's been St. Brown, Aquarius St. Brown, and Pettis as his top two targets so far for Justin Fields. So I think this Texan defense can make a few plays. And who knows how the weather conditions are gonna be at Soldier Field as well, where this defense could be decent as a one week use. Available 99% of fantasy leagues and the fifth and final defense I look to get off the wire this week. It's the same team I just mentioned in the, with the Texans is the Chicago Bears. I could see this being a struggle for both offenses and we saw it in week one in Soldier Field with San Francisco and the Bears where both defenses played look good but obviously 
it was a swimming pool over there. The field was drenched. And no one could really do anything. But week three here versus Houston coming into town. I think this bad defense can make a few plays. And they got some decent guys on the line over there. Week one versus San Francisco. Only 10 points allowed. Two sacks and in throw a fumble recovery. And week two versus division rival. And a guy, let's be honest, who owned them. Aaron Rodgers throughout his career. 27 points allowed. Three sacks and a fumble recovery. So week three here versus Davis Mills. And this Texan rebuilding team here. I think this Chicago Bear defense can make a few plays. They got the home field advantage. And we'll see what happens. So right now they're available 95% of fantasy leagues. That's a few defense DST units. I have his waiver wire pickups this week here for week three of the fantasy football season.